is a first in Texas. A San Antonio woman is seeing more clearly thanks to an amazing eye surgery. She's had an artificial iris implant. Wendy Rigby has the story. If the eyes are the window to the soul, Sandy Cook has a brand new man-made shade. When she was two years old, she stabbed herself in the eye with a knife in a freak accident, damaging her iris. The glare problem impacts her vision. It affects my depth perception. When there isn't an iris, there's an abundance of light. So it's like someone shining a bright light into your eye. In late April at Baptist Medical Center in San Antonio, Dr. William Sponsel tried something totally new for Sandy, an experimental iris implant. This is the replacement iris, the colored part of the eye, made out of silicone. In a 45-minute procedure, the doctor cuts it to fit her eye and slips it over the pupil. It's about half the thickness of a dime. These things are very good. Even the suppleness and behavior of the tissue once you get it in is surprisingly similar to natural. Photos of Sandy's normal eye were sent to Germany so the manufacturer could match color and texture, giving the finished product a surprisingly natural look. We're not just talking about the right base color, but all the little flecks, all the little rugal folds of the stroma of the iris. I mean, this is just amazing because, it, you know, I think the finished product here, you, you can't really tell, except for the fact that the diameter of the pupil is fixed. The iris implant isn't cheap, about $5,000. Right now it's not FDA approved, but Dr. Sponsel expects U.S. eye surgeons will embrace the technology and study it. The step forward this represents for what we've had in the past is just enormous. And the artificial iris may be able to help people with certain birth defects and also blast victims like some of the soldiers returning from Iraq with eye injuries. Reporting live, Wendy Rigby, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.